here to demonstrate the double shear test experiment. So uh, we performed this experiment on the universal testing machine, the same which we employ for tension test, uh, bending test, uh, debending test, etc. So um, our experiment requires a certain apparatus, a test specimen, test rig along with the eye plate and a vernier calipers. So first we determine the diameter of this, uh, this test specimen. So we uh, assess the diameter three points on the specimen and uh, the mean diameter is the diameter of the test specimen. So we get the diameter as uh, 11 millimeters. We note down the diameter. Next, uh, we use this diameter to tabulate the area of the uh, test specimen. Next, we need to set the range for this universal testing machine. So uh, this range is determined by first assuming our area, uh, assuming our shear strength as ultimate shear strength as 300 megapascal, and the load required load to be set onto the uh, universal testing machine is equal to the load uh, load P, which is equal to the shear strength into twice into area of our test specimen. So let's assume our area to be A and uh, we have our FS which is the sh ultimate shear strength as 300. So thus we compute that uh, uh, required load on uh, required load that is to be set in the universal testing machine. So uh, let's assume our load fall, uh, assume our load was computed as 78 um, mega, I mean 78 megapascal. So 78, uh, 78 kilo newton and 78 kilo newton uh, falls in the range of 0 to 120. So there are a set of four ranges that can be set in the universal testing machine. Zero to uh, starting from 0 to 60, 0 to 120, 0 to 300 and 0 to uh, 600 kilo newton. So since our 78 megapascal, uh, 78 kilo newton is less than 120, uh, 120 kilo newton, we set in the range of 0 to 120 in the UTM. And uh, along with it, we need to uh, set counterweights behind the machine. We set a counterweight which is equivalent to A plus B, which is equal to 60, uh, 60 plus 60, which is equal to 120 kilo newton behind the machine, as shown. We set it, thus. Uh, we fit the test specimen inside the test rig. Now we place it in the compression zone of the universal testing machine. Now we ensure that uh, both valves over here, the control valve and the release valve are closed and uh, we lower the uh, middle cross head such that it touches the uh, test rig. Next, uh, we, uh, and next, we, uh, next we switch on the machine and uh, the pointer will start moving. As you can see, we have uh, set the test specimen over here. Now uh, we lower the middle uh, cross head such that it touches the thus it 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 now touches the uh, test rig. So now we switch on the machine. As you can see, uh, the point has stopped at this point. So this point marks the breaking load. It's equivalent to uh, 
86 kilometer load as uh, 86 kilo newton and uh, we had the area which is we obtained before and we substituted in the equation uh, shear strength is equal to breaking load by area we can compute the uh, by twice into area we can compute the uh, shear strength of the material